Welcome back. In this video we look at a popular Alexa function, where you can add things to a shopping list. In fact, you can use this for any list. My user uses it to listen to every request that does not have a function assigned, so he can code that later. This program opens an Excel document, adds a user input, then saves it. The first thing we need is some libraries. We are going to be using speech recognition for this, if you are unsure about this element, then you can go back to a previous video in this series. We are also going to load in, OpenPYXL, which loads the workbook. We then need to call PYTTSX3. Don't forget to install these libraries, if you have not already done so. You will also need to copy and paste the speak function from a previous piece of code. Once we have these building blocks, we create a new function called shopping list. We add in our speech recognition code to ask a question, what would you like to add, and the speak function will play this for you. I like to put a text prompt on the screen too, so we know what is going on. Then we listen for the user response. We then print the user response to the screen, and then load our workbook. For this to work you should create an Excel workbook in a location, on your computer. Make sure you get this address right. We then select which sheet on the workbook we want to add to, a few more lines of code for the cells and rows, and then we take our user response and add it to the column, after the last response. The workbook is then saved, before we add in our familiar error correction code, in case there is a mistake along the way. When you run this code it will ask you to add something and then close the program. But your response will have been added to the Excel document previously created. One important thing to note is that this will not work, if you have the Excel document open, at the time of running the code. And that's it. Simple. You can now have as many lists as you like in Jarvis and call it in your Jarvis program. When you go shopping you can open your shopping list and save it or print it. If you are really clever, you can save it to the cloud, and open it on your phone. Oh how times have changed. That's it for this one, have a great day.